Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is episode 3 and what we're going to do in this episode is meet Queen Goma, who we heard a little bit about at the end of the last episode, but yeah. I'll be cutting off the mic for t literally two seconds in a moment. Those are the little things that I love about Zelda. The boss intros are always something I need to, I like to look out for, you know? Right, you can either use Dirty Nets, or you can stun her with a slingshot to the eye. <laughs> yeah. And that will bring her down, and then you just gotta attack a couple of times. It's one of the parasitic monsters inside the Dirty Tree. Its eye is vulnerable when it's red. This is the main problem. Um that the Dirk Tree was talking about that we should get rid of to help him, to help him out. To help stop him from dying, hopefully. We can only dream. Come on you, get get down here. What's he doing? Haha, <laughs> if we left her to... If we left the Queen to do that for a while then, it would have been little baby gomers like those enemies we saw earlier. Oh, we're done! <laughs> Boss done, folks. So yeah, every time you beat a dungeon, you get an extra heart container, so now we have four hearts, we can take more damage, basically. And uh, there's other ways of collecting heart containers, you need to collect four heart pieces, I'll show you exactly what that's all about in a bit. But at the end of every dungeon as well, sir, there's going to be a blue light that teleports you out to the place. So off we go. Time to go flying. Yeah, dungeon one done. As easy as that, folks. Even though when I was little, I got incredibly stuck in there. <laughs> it was my first Zelda. Well done, Link. I will be cutting the mic for the actual cinematic that I know is coming up by now, by you in a sec. But until then, I might as well stick around. The hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I don't think any other character in the game do actually talk like this. <laughs> I think it's just the tree, because he's so old, you know? I think that's the point. Now, I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Of course we will. Okay, here we go. Cinematic, come in.
that's the cinematic done, folks. I mean, the man of the desert is someone we'll get to know incredibly well throughout the game. And as well as that, the sort of mythology that went on with Pharaoh, Nehru and Din is something that crops up in a lot of Zelda games. A lot of them. I think, I think it's fair to say most of them, though this is just thinking on the spot and all that. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. Oh no, the Dirky Tree is gonna die. What will happen to the forest without the Dirky Tree, eh? Is this Hyrule's final hope? Ah, Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. That's an amazing place as well, by the way. This is only the start of, of the game. It's gonna be so much more, so much incredibleness. They that will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. Yeah, it was the desert man who put the curse on the Joku tree. Just for this stone, I wonder what the stone is all about then. We'll never know. Well, we will know. <laughs> we don't know yet. This is the Kokri El Emerald. The green one, the forest emerald. It could, yeah, there we go. Spiritual stone in the forest. Now entrusted to you by the great Dirkatry. We'll be. There are two more to collect, both of which have a dungeon of their own as well. But you need to actually get to these places and figure out what's going on around the environments and stuff before you can actually get into the dungeon and make a start. I entreaty, Navi. Goodbye. Ah. Weird effect then. It looked like it was like water going up the tree or something. It didn't look like it was petrifying at all. <laughs> Let's go to Hyrule Castle Link. Okay, that's just what we'll do. Goodbye, Great Doki Tree. Yeah, we'll, we'll never see him again. It's really sad. Hmm. He's strangely one of my favourite characters in the game. Very strangely. Okay, what do you want now? What did you do? The Great Doki Tree, did he? Die? How could you do a thing like that? Yep, we murdered the Doki Tree. That, that's exactly what happened. Stupid Mido. And your pink fairy. Stupid pink fairy. Yeah, there's no point going in the shop. There's nothing to buy in there than the shield that you'll ever really want. And it's time to leave the place. We are now done with Kokori Forest. Yeah. Let's head off. Aww. The thing is, we're the only ones who can actually leave the forest. Hold on a sec. You received the Fairy Ocarina. It's a memento from Sarah. This is the game, I think, that made Ocarinas actually quite popular outside outside of the game, you know? There are people on YouTube, go and, go and um, Google them or put them on YouTube, and you can see people playing real Ocarinas and playing songs from the game, not just the game, but outside the game as well. It's pretty epic. I quite like it. You can play different notes with A and the 4C. Yeah, we'll be learning songs as we go along. It's not just random notes that you that you just play about with, although you can. When you play my ocarina, I hope you all think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Ah, oh, sir. Someday we'll see you again. Someday. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Most of the characters in the forest are <clears throat> a little bit forgettable, but Sarah is one of the ones that will that always crop up in my mind whenever I see the game. Mm. 
love the Hyrule Field music. Love the soundtrack of this game in general, but love the Hyrule Sound mu Field music thing. Yeah. I'm going to put the Ocarina on down. I always do for some reason. Now, where we need to go next? Longland Ranch is glowing, but we're not going there. The market. That's where Hyrule Castle is, pretty much. So let's head in that direction. And meet the new character once again. Come on, mate. I know you're there. Hoot! <laughs> what a hoot! It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. Again, I love the theme of this owl. I can't remember his name. It's such a weird name as well. I, oh, I don't know. This is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. He's going to be our sort of leader. He's going to give us directions every now and again, hints about where to go. Go straight this way and you'll see Hyrule Castle. You'll meet a princess there. If you're lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscreens and L or R to find the map. On the map subscreen, you will also see a flashing dot showing you which way you should go next. Did you get all that? Yep, we got it all. If you say no, you'll just repeat it, that's all. I love the owl's design. You can see eyes, where his face are now as you're looking at him, massive eyebrows. But when he turns his head around, you can see eyes on the bottom as well, and they go to the top, and, uh, 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 yeah, they turn into eyes themselves. So all we need to do now is cross Hyrule Field, which seems pretty big, but in comparison with modern day games, it's pretty small, really, the field itself. But there's other areas in the game which are massive as well, so it sort of makes sense. Kinda, sorta. Just follow the path and we'll make it there. We'll make it to Hyrule Castle. You can see it already. It's the draw drawbridge. I'm not sure about the quality of the video, so I can't say if you can see the drawbridge yet. Some trees you hit will drop gold sculptors, some will drop rupees like I just saw, some hearts. It's different things. Okay, it's starting to get dark now. It gets dark really quickly in this game. And I'm gonna leave it so that, uh, so that the sun goes down and I can show you the field at night as well. The music changes and things get a whole lot more dangerous. It gets epic. This Long Long Ranch, by the way, right for there. You can hardly see it because it's a bit of a silhouette now. Night time! These show up. What are they called? Let's have a look. Star Child. Stop being afraid of Star Child. Just attack it repeatedly. If you lose its head, it uh, becomes easier to kill because it can't see you so much. But, you know. If we, we can't go in the drawbridge now because it's night time. You can go in the town when it's night time, but um, we can't do it yet. I'll tell you more about that as we get a bit further into the series, I think. There should be more enemies. They should constantly spawn, these st these style shards. But it's not happening. Maybe we're too close to the castle, do you think? That's really strange. They normally constantly spawn. It takes a while for daytime to, to return. Especially when you're waiting around for it. Yes, yes it does. Oh, more enemies. Sometimes you'll come across giant star forces while you're what star trials I mean while you're wandering around this field. They're no harder to kill, they might take an extra attack, maybe. Who what's now we want? Hyrule Castle, shouldn't we get going? Yeah, of course we should. And they might give you more rupees, you know, the giant star childs. I was in the middle of talking and I got interrupted by Navi. Little git. That's the most annoying thing about Navi. About this game, I mean. A lot of people find Navi very annoying. And I guess she is a little bit. A little bit. I've never found her that annoying though. And here we go. Hyrule Castle Town. It's epic. Got brilliant music. Which you can't hear very much yet until we actually enter the town. Last thing I want to do during this episode is show you a room by you. And there's a reason for it. There's plenty of jars around here. Loads of money, potential. Not loads really, but because we can only hold 99 rupees at the most right now, it's quite a lot. And in one of these boxes, I can't remember which one. There it is. It's a gold star force. Here we go. A uh, Sculptula. Bloody hell, I'm getting them mixed up a lot this time, isn't I? A blue rupee. Very nice. You can shoot up there for those pots if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to bother. I don't want to waste my seeds. My slingshot seeds. Might as well get these as well. There's nothing much in the boxes, but why not? 
Right, and I think that's about it, didn't it? Yep. Oh yeah, if you hold on B, I might as well show you this. You get to do a little spin attack, which hits all around you. Hello, guard. My name's... Ooh, ooh, shit. Let's try that again, shall we? I am so bored. Things would be more interesting if there were more troubles in the world. Oh, you shouldn't be wishing for that. <laughs> You'll wish you never wished for that. <laughs> oh, that's ironic, isn't it? Anyway, maybe we can let off some steam by breaking these jars. Stand near a jar, press A to lift it, press A again to toss it. You can do that, or you can just use the sword like we just did. So, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we actually go for Hyrule Castle Town and we go for the castle too. We'll be doing a whole lot in the next episode. See you in a bit, folks. <laughs>